President Obama announced a historic breakthrough with Iran today. Negotiations in Switzerland led by Secretary of State John Kerry have produced the framework of an agreement that would prevent Iran from developing nuclear weapons. With his announcement today, the President picked up a surprising ally, Bill O'Reilly. We only have three options for addressing Iran's nuclear program. First, we can reach a robust and verifiable deal, like this one and peacefully prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. He wants a deal. He thinks it's the best way to uh, control the Iranians, and he might be right. The second option is we can bomb Iran's nuclear facilities, thereby starting another war in the Middle East and setting back Iran's program by a few years. In other words, setting it back by a fraction of the time. You don't want a war with Iran. You don't want to be bombing that country because the unintended consequences will set the world aflame. So if you can get something that's decent, you give it a shot. I think that's a legitimate point. Third, we could pull out of negotiations, try to get other countries to go along and continue sanctions that are currently in place or add additional ones and hope for the best. The third option leads us very quickly back to a decision about whether or not to take military action. The deal announced today is far more comprehensive than anything people outside the negotiations expected to emerge. All of Iran's nuclear facilities will be available for inspection at any time, and inspectors will also have access to all points in the supply chain that supports Iran's nuclear program. Nuclear-related nuclear sanctions will be suspended if Iran verifiably abides by its commitments. At any time, if Iran fails to abide by its commitments, these sanctions will snap back into place. Some sanctions against Iran will continue. U.S. sanctions against Iran for terrorism, human rights abuses, and ballistic missiles will remain in place. What about the fact that they are a state sponsor of terrorism? Bad country. Well, we've negotiated with bad people in the past. It's a bad country. So the thing is, do you destroy the bad country? We could do that, but that would be a world war. Or do you deal with a bad country and try to make it better? And that's the uh, path that the, the president wants to take.